So today we do increasing sequence. Increasing sequence. A sequence A n is called increasing if A n less than a n plus 1 for all n for all n belong to n that mean that is a 1 less than equal to a 2 less than equal to a 3 less than equal to A4 and so on. Similarly, decreasing sequence. An example of this, example, you can say simply this sequence N because the terms of this sequence are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Similarly, decreasing sequence, decreasing sequence, a sequence, a n is Card decreasing if a n greater than equal to a n plus one for all and belong to n. An example one by n. In this case, the set is 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, so on. So this sequence is decreasing. Now, monotonic a sequence. A sequence is called monotone if it is increasing or decreasing. This word monotone is important and sometimes here also we add monotone increasing sequence. Sometimes not we write always simple increasing sequence. We write monotone monotone increasing or decreasing. Monotone mean continuous, continuously increasing. This word is in Latin mono plus Tonos. Mono means single tone. That means this is 
in same tone and <clears throat> same or more or less same you speak in Greek also we use mono plus tonos in Greek in Latin tonos means sound in the same sound and in Greek this means stretch tonos so stretch in the same way in Greek stretch in same way so this is monotonous because sometimes simple increasing may cause or simple decreasing may cause a confusion for example if I take one example one example minus 1 raised to n plus 1 by n then what are the term of the sequence the when n1 this will be 0 first term second term this become 2 because when n be 2 then this is even number so 1 1 plus 1 2 divided by 2 this become 1 third term again 0 fourth term because this is negative so when I make 4 this is again 1 1 2 2 by 2 that is 1 by 2 so in this way we find so this sequence we cannot say uh, non increasing non increasing because it doesn't give the information that this sequence is simply we speak decreasing because sometimes it repeats 0 0 0 but we also cannot say that this sequence are uh, increasing so we say this sequence is non increasing so because the monotonic property not satisfied here so this example is to to make us clear why the monotone word is used <coughs> now we prove one theorem which states that every mono tonic or monotone increasing sequence converts to to the supremum supremum if it is bounded if it is bounded so to prove this prove that a and b monotone increasing increasing sequence 
bounded out. Sorry, here also bounded out. Now, consider the set of the sequence. Now, let x is a n n belong to n. Then this set, set of the terms of this sequence, given bounded above, then, then x is bounded above, this part is given by the completeness property which already we have discussed completeness property every bounded above set has supremum and definition of supremum also told. So let so let u is equal to supremum of x supremum of x then what does it mean what does it mean? I explain geometrically with then for every epsilon positive u minus epsilon is not supremum. not supreme therefore by definition of supreme there exist there exist elements of x between u minus epsilon and u. Now we take the geometrical concept. If Because the sequence is increasing, so definitely sequence will move from left to right. Suppose this is A1, this is A2 and it keep increasing because it is bounded. So U will be here, the last point. And I decrease very small number of psilon, then u minus epsilon will fall on the left of u. That means because a is keep going on like this. So here will be some point suppose a m a m plus 1. So there will be some point mean that is there exists some m in m. This m depends on epsilon. If I take epsilon is very uh, a little bigger, then this point will move this side. 
I can, depending on epsilon, this point can be moved more left such that u minus epsilon less than a m a m plus 1 less than equal to u this mean this mean for all n greater than m now I have arrived to the point simply u minus epsilon less than a n less than equal to u for all n greater than m and this u is here and epsilon is a positive number. If I add epsilon in u, then this point will definitely fall on the right sometime uh, somewhere here. u plus epsilon will fall on the right of because it becomes the larger than u. That means I can write this u minus epsilon less than a n less than u plus epsilon because u is less than u plus epsilon. So this I can write a n minus u less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to and what is this definition? This is definition of convergence of a sequence. Mean a n converts to u, which is supremum of a, which is supremum of x and x is a n and belong to. So this is the proof, this is the proof.